Hey YouTube! So I've been making terrariums or terraria which is the correct term for a while now. Like this simple closed terrarium. And this simple Halloween themed open terrarium that I've done some time back. So over the years a lot of people have asked me how they can find mosses in and around Colombo and other cities. After all, there's none for sale anyway in Sri Lanka unlike in other countries. You would think that you need to travel to the wetlands or misty forested mountains in the middle of Sri Lanka to find mosses, right? Well, technically you'd be correct. After all, mosses can be easily found in cooler, wetter climates away from direct sunlight. But you do need to go through the pain of traveling away from Colombo and trekking through relatively difficult terrain to find moss like what you would find in other countries with cooler climates. However, you can still find moss in urban areas as well if you do look hard enough and I have to say this, you have to look really hard. For example, I found this clump of moss which I am currently propagating under a tree at my house on a shaded wall close by to my workplace. Can you see just how much moss covers this wall? They are very, very easily overlooked in the middle of the hustle and bustle of the big city. Moss also grows on tree bark. People tend to easily overlook this. Tree bark with moss is an ideal hardscape for any terrarium, closed or open. If you live in Sri Lanka, some of the best places to find mosses are plant nurseries. You can find them in every town, either in large or small scale. This particular plant nursery is just walking distance from my home. Just take a look at the moss growth on the wall. Since it's in a shaded place, not so easily apparent to a passerby, you can see why they get overlooked. Look at how thick the moss growth is in certain places. You can take all of these clumps and form a brilliant looking terrarium. There's plenty of moss growth here that I can use to make a moss shake or moss slurry with as well. I shall make another video explaining what a, mo uh, what a moss slurry is and what it's used for as well as how it's made. You can also find mosses growing inside planted pots that are placed away from direct sunlight, like this one. If you learned something from the video, please consider giving it a like and leaving a comment below. Please subscribe for more content on terrariums. Many thanks in advance.